We're getting close. As a YouTuber, trainee. Thanks, Brooklyn Nine Nine. As a YouTuber, I decide what goes and what doesn't. And so I decided to do something very awesome: reviewing awesome artwork and story by Rob Liefeld recently. So I'm starting out with X Force. Isn't that a little derivative? I love your enthusiasm, but that's not the point, Peter. That was me. Hey guys, it's me Topics here. Back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. It has been, I think, six or seven weeks since I said that last. If not eight. Future me, please put up what when the fucking time was when I opened that when the last time I opened the box, which was Silver Surfer. What? What the fuck? This is kind of very special because it took me a couple months to try and find one that actually afford to do to make this video. And this video is a book that is very out of print, but I found one that is new and still good. And that is X-Force with art by Rob Liefeld. Now, if you don't know what X-Force is, it's basically a government operated mutant team. And it's not just a marketing tool designed by Fox to keep Josh Brolin employed. X-Force is just a marketing tool designed by Fox executives to keep Josh Brolin employed. It doesn't exist. All right, without further ado, I'm just gonna get into this. I'm excited. I don't have scissors. I don't know why I didn't bother to get up and actually go get scissors, but here we are. I'm sorry if I seem very tired. I just woke up from a nap, as you can visibly see by the messy bed. Oh god, there's packing peanuts. Oh no! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. That's fine, my room is already a mess. It's been a bit. I'm a comic book unboxing veteran. Why the fuck am I talking like that? Screw it, I'm opening it like, I'm opening it up savagely. Go at it like a Campbell, or someone who hasn't done a comic book unboxing and review in at least a, a couple months. <sighs> this is gonna be hell. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fuck. Carefully, carefully, I already made such a big mess. Ho, 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 this is so cool. All right, so if you didn't know, in this book, we actually get to see the first, uh, we actually end up seeing the first appearance of Deadpool, which is in New Mutants 98. Anyway, the reason I got this book is because of Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man. His run of Spider-Man contains Spider-Man issue number 16, which is a tie-in to X-Force number, X-Force number four. Deadpool appears in this book. In the very first one, we have the cover for New Mutants 98, which is the first appearance of Deadpool. And this contains, all right, so we, this contains 29 issues. <laughs> of pure X-Force and a lot of Rob Liefeld. This cover is by Rob Liefeld. I, mean, I couldn't find a clean image on Google of this cover. So here's the, co the other cover of the omnibus. And that's what I got so far, but the art is amazing. Cable is really epic. The art is really awesome. Immediately, I give it a 10 out of 10. I love Rob Liefeld art. One of my favorite Rob Liefeld things, in fact, the first Rob Liefeld thing I got is Snake Eyes Dead Game, and that's literally my favorite G.I. Joe comic story. I'm just looking at this, it just took me so long. I just need to, I need to, I need to take it in. All right, so on the cover, we've got characters I can actually identify. We got Domino, Warpath, I think that's his name. You're right. Shatterstar, he is a bit of a prick. A Feral and Cable. Apparently this is volume one. The other two omnibuses technically aren't labeled as X-Force. They're labeled as like Deadpool and X-Force and Cable and X-Force. And those are also very hard to find. So give me a lot of time. Artists and writers are Fabian Nicieza. Or how do I pronounce that name? Future me, please, how to pronounce uh, this name. Fabian Nicieza. Uh, Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, Mark Pacella, Mike Mignola, and John Romita Jr. Okay, that's pretty awesome. This collects New Mutants 1993, issues number 98 through 100, New Mutants Annual number 7, X-Men Annual 1970 number 15, X-Factor Annual number 6, X-Force 1991 number 1 through 15, Spider-Man 1990 number 16, Cable, Blood and Metal number 1 through 2, and Material from New Warriors Annual number 1 and X-Force Annual number 1. Alright, let's open this bad boy. I have to open this with a freaking ruler. Oh, oh hell yeah. Binding is still tight. 
Yes. So, all right, opening up, we are going to be starting on uh, New Mutants 98. Hold on, I, I want to read the interior of this. Big guns and attitude! The mystery man known as Cable has become the leader of the New Mutants, invigorating the flagging group and recruiting fresh faces, including his old flame, Domino, and former Helian Warpath, and the Morlock called Feral, and the Mojo vs. Warrior, <laughs> Shatterstar, arrive at the team's base pursued by two sets of deadly foes, the new mutants realize their rogues gallery, including the Mutant Liberation Front, Freedom Force, Sabretooth, Mask, the Genshans, Gideon, Deadpool, and more, has grown too large and dangerous. They have to start taking the fighting to their enemies as the proactive, butt-kicking, take-no-prisoners mutant strike team X-Force. But even with the help of the X-Force and the new warriors, can, be, can, can the newly mutant team survive a head-on clash with the resurrected reality warper Proteus? When X-Force assaults the Mutant Liberation Front, what secrets about the villain's enigmatic leader, Strife, will be revealed? And as the new Weapon X enters the fray and S.H.I.E.L.D. agent at GW Bridge forms a squad to deal with Cable once and for all, X-Force side-by-side with Spider-Man faces its first trial by fire when Black Tom Cassidy and the unstoppable Juggernaut take over the World Trade Center. Through it all, Cable and Domino keep deadly secrets from the team, and one of them is not who they claim to be. The threats continue to mount against Cable's strike team as the Morlocks ally with the new Brotherhood of Evil Mutants and carry out a brutal attack that claims one of X-Force's members' life. Cable's past with Domino, Weapon X, and Bridge is revealed as his true reason for mentoring the new mutants, as is his, as is his mentoring for the new mutants. The immortal threat of the externals rears its head. Deadpool returns in the employ of the malevolent manipulator known as Mr. Tolliver and reveals a traitor on the team. And S.H.I.E.L.D. finally makes its move in a blockbusting attack that splits X-Force in two! And the remains of the team struggle to regain their purpose and welcome two former friends back into the fold. Cable strikes out on his own in search of strife! Rob Liefeld and Fab and the writer's name I cannot pronounce, reinvention of the long-running New Mutant series into one of the 90s most talked about titles is here, collected in one volume at last, complete with all crossovers, backup stories, pinups, and more. It's 90s nostalgia at, at its finest, with high-stakes adventure, all-out action, in-your-face attitude, and enormous guns. In, over the top seri in the over-the-top series that kicked off a gritty, action-packed franchise, that continues to this day. All right, that is really epic. I am so stoked for that. Interesting thing, I actually want to collect more rifle, rifle, rifle. Rob Liefeld Marvel stories. And the next one I'm hoping to collect is, the next ones are, I'm hoping to collect are Heroes Reborn, the original epic, which has his art for Avengers and his run of Captain America. And it also has Jim Lee's Iron Man. Jeff Lowe did a lot of the writing for all of those stories. He did Fantastic Four for them, Avengers, Iron Man, etc. I am really excited about that. And also Deadpool Beginnings. I really want to get into this because I love Rob Liefeld art. I'm really super excited because he just released a promotional image for his new book. Uh, well, not new book. Uh, well, yeah, his new series. It's gonna be pretty epic. Honestly, I love a lot of Rob Liefeld's art. I'm really excited to read more of his work. If you didn't know, I'm such a 90s comic fan. I love a lot of comic books, but especially 80s and 90s and early 2000s are my favorite era of comics. But I am excited to see it because I love Rob Liefeld's work. I love uh, Jim Lee's work. When I heard he did Iron Man, I was stoked. Cause I love his work on X-Men. Um, maybe I'm going to collect the omnibus for that as well, but I got a lot of things I want to get. Here's a list of things I really want to get to reading in the future. If you didn't tell her, I'm a major comic fan. And if you didn't know that, what the hell are you doing here? Go watch all my previous videos. I feel like the true 
saga of Tonoplex really starts at my video, I have a confession to make, and then it gets better from there. That point onward, that's when I really found out what my channel was going to be. I went way off topic. <laughs> Anyways, back to <laughs> back to X Force. I am so stoked to read this. I love Rob Liefeld art. Again, the panels pop out of the page. It's just uh four of X Force and number sixteen of Todd McFarlane's Spider Man. Both are formatted like this, and I just thought that's a cool way to read because it gives you a little more room to like look at the panels and like like gives you more space to read. And it's just like this long, cool poster of comic art, and I just thought. That's a cool way to format comic books. The anatomy of Rob Liefeld's art is very expressive and that's why I enjoy it. It's very expressive. It pops out of the page. It's like a movie. There are ones that don't have Rob Liefeld art and it's still good. Just Rob Liefeld really understood understood the assignment of like Exxon because their powers are just huge. Oh yeah, I forgot. They do have like the first classic page where we do first meet like Deadpool in his full form and it is this beautiful page right here. Just the art and the way Deadpool is drawn is just so cool. I really think that Rob Liefeld is the king of Deadpool, A, because he created it, but also because he knows what the character looks like and how the character moves. Every time I see Rob Liefeld do Deadpool, I am excited because I do see, like, how it's it was meant to be drawn because, because that's how he intended Deadpool to be drawn. <laughs> the paneling outline, the way the characters overlay some of the pages, it is just really cool. I love it so much. I love Rob Liefeld art, if you couldn't tell. Me blabbering on for like 14 minutes straight. All right, so um, that is my unboxing and review of Rob Liefeld's X-Force story. Very cool concept, and I'm really excited to read it, so I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, art, love Rob Liefeld. I even love the other artists. I love Tom McFarlane, I love Jarvis Mia Jr. So I'm gonna give it a 20 out of 10. Final score, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do a very rare Tomaplex reward system. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Hundred out of hundred. Best king. Best king. I love nineties comics. They're so much fun. There are a lot of ours too. I really enjoy. I also want to collect like Jim Lee's X Men. He also did Iron Man, which I'm gonna get in the Heroes Reborn Omnibus. If I ever get the sequel to Heroes Reborn, I'm gonna do a full my full take on all the Heroes Reborn stories. Uh, yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Please do subscribe to my friends. The channels are in the description down below. Please make sure to subscribe to me. It would really help out the channel a ton. And also, please do recommend books that I can do in the future because I would really love to hear your guys' opinion. I'm really excited to do this. This is going to be so much fun. As Anna Kitsa. This is where the fun begins. Also, go check out Rob Liefeld on Instagram. He's got some great artwork he's posting there. It is so cool. Uh, I'll, I'll leave his Instagram in the description. It is, it is so epic. Go check it out. It is so much fun. I thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next week, I will see you in the next video. Bye!